Join me up to the stairway of heaven, where we will all be watching part 11 of Let's Play Advance Wars 2 Andy's Adventure. I feel like fighting Olaf again, that was fun last time. The story of how Lash stole Christmas, let's go. Gosh, running around this place is boring, so much for my winter vacation. Wish some crazy hard challenge would present itself for my amusements. Hey, looks like there's an army mobilizing. Mm-mm. Lash with a navy. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. Orange Star's army is here. They won't get away this time. Ha ha ha, you fool. Now you must face Olaf's sea strike. Olaf's what? I'm just on vacation. Lash, are you in league with Andy? You made a big mistake attacking by sea. Andy? I've never even met the guy. I hear he's really stupid. I doubt he'd ever, I'd ever ally with a guy like that. Wait, he's not listening. Oh well, what better way to spend the day than blowing stuff up to relax? Oh boy, alright, so again, it's snowing, and the reason, for some reason, with this hack, you have to like do, a, you have to like fight first for the terrain to update, I don't know why, this, so this like took me really off guard last time. So it's a pre-deployed mission, I think? Oh boy, Olaf Sea Strike indeed. Let's uh, take a look and see what Hot has to say. Lash can't use Navy units that well. I'd keep out of the water entirely. <laughs> Why is Hachi so funny? <laughs> Alright, well... I don't think Olaf has any cruisers, so... That should be okay. Um... Using the Reeves will give me like a 10% attack bonus, which is nice, so I'll definitely attack here first. So that's cool. Definitely want to keep my- yes, there we go, now now, now it updated. Of course, I'm at a huge mobility disadvantage here. We'll see how this goes. Um, something tells me that we should probably get rid of the unit- oh wow, yeah, so there's a lot of medium tanks over there that we need to kill. And we got two landers that we need to keep safe as well. Uh, I think, honestly, we're probably just gonna keep the landers back for the time being, and instead place the rockets on the shoals, so maybe they can actually help zone out the battleships, although I don't I don't think it's gonna really matter much. Alright, let's see if Olaf strikes back, or what he does. Okay, so far so good. Okay, that's actually really good. I don't- I don't know what the fuck Olaf is doing here, this is really dumb. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look a gift Olaf in the mouth. There we go. That's really weird. So I know that his subs are like here somewhere. So we probably just want to shoot down these and just retreat the battleships up. We also want to try to ensure that Olaf uses his little power. Although we probably already pushed him past that. Yeah, he is probably gonna save up for Winter Fury now. There we go. Can we even get out of range? Yeah, we can. We can get out of range indeed. So yeah, I think we'll just wait here. That sounds like a smart thing to do, right? Alright, let's see if we can see where the subs are going. Oh, oh, okay. He's a retard. What the hell? Oh, wow. I didn't know there was a bridge there. I didn't even see that. Okay. That's, uh... That's great. <laughs> That's that's just fantastic. Holy shit. Oh my god. Why why is the AI so dumb? Like this is the dumbest I've ever seen the AI be ever. I mean, is this like a reference to uh, Advanced Wars 1 where Olaf was like dumb for the tutorial? I don't know. It's really really funny. Um all right. Well, uh so I'm actually kind of curious. So Lash's power Except when snow is falling, yeah, 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 so whenever she uses her power, snow doesn't really help with that. Hmm. Terrain stars are doubled and used to increase attack strength, so I do wonder if her superpower is, like, bugged in all of the, uh... I do wonder if her superpower is, like, always bugged, like it was against Colin. It's really weird. Anyway, let's uh, shoot out some battleship, shall we? There we go. Holy shit, I, I can't believe how dumb Olaf is in this mission. I mean, we're gonna get hit by Winter Fury, which is gonna suck, but... I guess there's no way around that, unless you really space out the, the damage that you do. 
Anyway, yeah, this is fucking great. Look at this. It only has, like, one battleship remaining now. Alright. So now we just have to deal with these. I mean, we can't really conquer his HQ, so we have to route him. So I'm assuming we should just move our tank up here. Put artillery behind it. Wait, is he gonna... Okay, he's not gonna end up on our city. We actually get the first strike of him if, if he moves all the way over there. We can even... You know what we can do? We can use these landers as sort of like a decoy. Putting the lander here, that will ma probably make the tank shoot at the lander. So that'd be kind of funny. Alright, here comes the Winter Fury. Let's see the winds of war bring snow. Winter Fury. Hmm. Man, I hate it when Olaf uses Winter Fury. Oh no, he made it snow. Oh, I didn't even attack me. What the hell? Okay, can we uh, can we get our superpower? And will it even work? Let's find out. Yeah. All right. Well, I might as well use it then. Hee <laughs> hee! Come on, let's play. So I don't even know if I want to attack him now. Uh, yeah, no, I I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't seem like a, this doesn't seem like a medium tank with 60% extra firepower to me. So I guess we can just conclude that Lash's power doesn't work in this hack at all. Oh well, at least I'm aware of it now. Alright, I think I will just put the tank here, and then we'll put the ar artillery here, and it should be fairly easy to route him based on that. It's just medium tanks, right? And, yeah, no, her superpower just plain doesn't work, so I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I don't think I'll ever pick Lash voluntarily in any of the fights. Oh, they can actually move up there. That's kind of cute. But, yeah, I don't think they're getting past here. I guess I'll uh, rise up my, my subs. I can never remember if uh, drowning subs... <laughs> drowning subs. I can never remember if losing subs due to lack of fuel actually, like, counts towards your ranking or not. I don't think, I th I don't think it counts as them actually being destroyed by the enemy. There we go, let's uh, shoot up here. This ended up being probably one of the easiest missions I've ever played. I feel like I was just really lucky with my unit placements and the AI deciding to be dumb. Looks like Olaf is not pulling his units back to heal either, which is good for me. Well, uh, you know, target practice time, I guess? Man, I feel like grit. Here we go, uh, I'm gonna move my battleships up here. I mean, maybe not a smart idea to do this, but it'll it'll make his other tank attack me, I guess. There we go, and then let's shoot down the scariest tank first. So right now, this Lash tank is basically as strong as a combi tank. It has 30% extra firepower and defense. So Lash units and cities are always, like, really scary. Let's put, you know what, let's see if this diversion works. I think it will work. Oh no, Blue Moon is indestructible. I wouldn't be surprised if it works. Yep, as I thought. <laughs> the AI loves targeting lanterns. <laughs> oh, this is genius. I feel very smart now. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like a perfect S rank, because I've killed way more units than I ever lost. I don't think I've lost a single unit. Boo 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 boo. Man. Battleships and Advanced Wars 2. I want them to be good so badly, but they're just terrible. 28,000 for a rocket that moves some water. <laughs> That's basically what they are. Their firepower is pretty comparable to rockets. I think it, they're quite... they're almost identical. I think they're a little bit stronger than, than rockets, but not by much. There was a time when I badly wanted, like, to rush a battleship out to be, like, a good strategy. I used to do it against my friends all the time. I, like, I used to, I used to, like, open up with, like, a battleship. But then my friends found out that they could just zone it out with a battlecopter, and I felt really dumb. I mean, sometimes if you can, like, if the battle is big enough, a battleship can maybe be an investment, but... In a Monster Wars 2, almost never. What? We lost? How is this retreat to the factory? Mission complete. All right. Perfect S rank. 
I wonder where Andy is, anyhow. Well, would you look at that? Save current data over existing data, yeah. Alright, so I guess I'm guessing the next battle is against Grit. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not I'm not looking forward to this. By the way, people have been telling me to go to Versus and check out pre-deployed maps for some reason. I don't know why. Uh <laughs> Colin's nightmare, that's funny. <laughs> I wonder, like, is the war room different in this? I actually don't know. Bean Island, it back door, misplacements, blue range. This seems new to me. Fortress fire, Shutter Isle, Desert Eagle. These are definitely new war rooms. The Thunder. Yeah, no, no, no. This is absolutely new. Wow, border dispute. Wow. That's really cool. Danger Peak. Oh my god. These war rooms look amazing. I love them. Open Plains. Mountain Fork. Hot Spring. Ace Lake. I love them. You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll check out the war room after I'm done with this. I didn't know this. I didn't know this uh, ROM came with like a custom war room. Oh, that's really awesome. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Advanced Wars Andy's Adventure. I will be seeing you then. Take care.